Okay, so we have two lines here, or two linear equations to be more precise. So I got y equals 3x plus 5, and then I have 6x minus 8y is equal to 12. Now, I could graph both of these, and uh, this is kind of basic algebra. If you're watching this video and you're taking any course pre-algebra and beyond, uh, you need to um, have the ability to be able to graph these. And uh, if you do graph these, the question is, hey, uh, are these two, uh, two lines parallel. In other words, if I graph these lines, are they going to be running like this? This is the definition of parallel, kind of like uh, railroad tracks, right? They're not going to uh, cross. But what does this mean, you know, um, algebraically? Well, first, graphically, what's going on here? Well, these two lines have a certain steepness to this, a certain angle, but we call that the slope, and it's represented by this little variable m. So if two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so how can I uh, determine whether these lines are parallel? Well, you could graph them and look, but there's a more direct algebraic way, uh, and I'll just go ahead and uh, tell you right now what we want to do is to be able to identify the slope of this line. Okay, I want to know the slope of this line, and then I want to know the slope of this line right here, and if the slopes are the same, well, then in fact, they are parallel. Okay, so really this is going to come down to your ability to work with these linear equations and identify the slope. So this is basic algebra. Uh, hopefully most of you out there can uh, do this pretty, um, you know, pretty accurately and pretty well. And if you want to go ahead and pause the video and use this as a little pop quiz, um, of course the answer is going to be yes or no, but make sure you justify your answer. Just don't guess. Okay, so I'm going to explain this uh, in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Now, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, uh, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here in about a week. Um, but I also have many, many courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, high set task, um, AccuPlacer, um, Alex exam, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam like the CBEST or Praxis, uh, maybe a graduate school um, like GMAT or GRE, or you're going into military, to mil the military and taking an ASVAB exam, which I did many, many decades ago. Uh, so listen, I have had to take a lot of these exams, uh, and all these exams, and many others, by the way, have a lot of math on them. If you don't do well in a math section, you don't do well on the exams, and that has negative consequences. So let me help you prepare. Just go to my website, check out my full course catalog. If I don't have your exam that you might be studying for, drop me a line, and I'll help you out the best I can. Um, I also do a lot with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool math uh, program Then obviously help those of you that are just having a difficult time in your current math courses. Now, if you're truly serious about wanting to do well in math, uh, you got to do this. Now, if you're not serious, then just disregard this. Um, I've been teaching math for decades, okay? There's a lot of things I can't do. I'm not good at tennis. I don't play much golf. Um, I'm not that great at video games. Uh, you know, ex, you know, I, there's an infinite amount of things I'm not good at, but I'm pretty good at teaching mathematics because, you know, I have a lot of uh, extensive math education and decades and decades of experience. When you do something for a long time, you have a lot of knowledge about it, you're going to get better. Okay, so when it comes to math, I'm pretty confident in what I've been telling you right here, and that is this. If you don't take great math notes, okay, you're not going to do well. Those students who take excellent notes, they almost always do well. And the reverse is true, okay? Those students who like to, you know how it goes, you know, they're checking out their cell phone, they're talking to their friends. Maybe they have their best friend that's in their math class who takes better notes than they do and they just copy from their notes. That doesn't work either, okay? You gotta be paying attention, listening to the teacher, doing the hard work every day. This is all about focus. If there was a shortcut, believe me, I would have found it way back in school in the 1980s. But uh, unfortunately, there is no shortcut. We're gonna to have to do the work. All right, now, uh, in the meantime, as you're improving in your notes, uh, you can use my notes to study from. So those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. Okay, and you can find the links to those notes in the description of this video as well. All right, so I pretty much laid out how to do this problem, okay? So we have this linear equation and this one here. So this comes down to your ability to identify the slope, okay? We gotta find the slope here. 
and then we got to find a slope there. If the uh, slopes are the same, then these lines are parallel. Okay. So yeah, again, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into this problem now. So if we don't want to see the full solution. Well, then uh, pause the video. Okay. So there's a couple different ways we can express linear equations. Uh, the first line, by the way, so well, let's, let's make something up. Let's say like 2x plus uh, 7. And let's say we have 8x plus 3y is equal to, uh, I don't know, 4. Okay. So this is called what? Well, hopefully you guys remember this is y equals mx plus b. This is probably the most common way we see linear equations or equations of lines. This is called the slope intercept form. And this method over here, or this form of a line, is called uh, the standard form. You need to know both, but um, more importantly, or just as importantly, you have to be able to write lines that are in slope intercept form into standard form and standard form into slope intercept form. Um, you got to be able to go from here to here and here to here. That's an important skill, all right? And that's going to come up very handy in this particular problem. Now, when lines are in y equals mx plus b form, okay, like uh, one of the lines in our problem, well, the little m right here is the slope, okay? This m, the number in front of the x is the slope. m is the slope. Now, hopefully you understand what the slope of a line means. It's the rise over the run, and that's a whole other conversation. By the way, if you have any uh, additional questions on slope or lines, as I have tons of videos on this in my algebra and pre-algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. Of course, if you really, really want to master this stuff, you might want to check out my Algebra 1 course in my Math Help program. Okay, so here in this line, what is the slope? Okay, well, we have to say, is this in the same form? I have a y, this is y. So the number in front of the x right there, 2, that's the slope of this line, okay? So m, the slope of that line, is 2. Now, I'm not going to go into, again, conceptually what the slope is. That's very, very important as well. We're going to stick with uh, the question, which is, hey, are these lines parallel? All right, but what about this line right here? Uh, you know, what's the slope right here? What's m? Okay, well, there is a little formula, but I'd rather not just kind of give you the formula for the slope of that. That's even more confusing. What we're going to do is we're going to take this line, okay, in standard form, and we're going to rewrite it into uh, slope intercept form, and then we'll be able to identify the m. Okay, so that's what we're going to uh, do. And how do we do this, right? Well, effectively, you need to solve for y, okay? We need to rewrite this equation in terms of y, and a lot of students, uh, they understand that's what they need to do, but they confuse this, right? They confuse how to do this. Uh, so you definitely need to know how to uh, go from uh, standard form into slope intercept form. You got to be able to work with how to solve for a particular variable when you have multiple variables in an equation. Again, I have a lot of videos on this uh, in my algebra, pre algebra playlist uh, under the topic of formulas and solving for a specific variable. Okay, but let's get into it now. And here is our problem. Okay, so right here, y equals 3x plus 5. Uh, what is the slope? Okay, this the slope of this line is 3. That's what m is equal to. So I need to go into this uh, equation right here, and i got to be able to determine what m is. Okay, now how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to write this in uh, y equals mx plus b form, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to solve for y. I'm going to solve for y. Okay, so how do I do this? Well, I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides of the equation. All right, now let me just go ahead and uh, show you this a little bit more precisely. So I'm subtracting 6x from both sides of the equation. Okay, and when I do that, I get negative 8y is equal to negative 6x plus 12. Okay, all right, so what do I do now? Well, I want to solve for y. So I got negative 8y, so I'm going to divide both sides of the equation, everything, all terms by negative 8. Okay, so I end up with this right here. Right. Now we can kind of see where this is going. We're looking for the slope if it's going to be 3. I already have this now, y equals. So let's clean this up. This negative 6 over negative 8, that's going to be positive 3 fourths. Okay, let me move this down a little bit. Okay, so that's going to be positive 3 fourths when I clean this uh, fraction up. And then here, this 12 over negative 8 is uh, negative uh, uh, 3 halves. doesn't make a difference. 
Now, what this is, that doesn't affect our answers. We're con uh, concerned about what the slope is, and the slope of this line is 3 fourths. And we can clearly see 3 fourths is not uh, 3. So what does that tell us? Are these lines parallel? The answer is a resounding no, they are not parallel. Uh, why? Because the slopes are not the same. Okay, so if you got this answer right, then I must in turn give you an awesome happy face with a little mohawk, an A+, plus, a 100%, and I'll give you two stars. This wasn't the most difficult problem. This is pretty much basic algebra. Um, but listen, hey, you did a good job. If you got this correct and you knew everything I was talking about and you were able to uh, put this line into y equals mx plus, uh, plus b form, that shows me that, hey, you're paying attention in class, um, taking great math, uh, math notes, or maybe you've been watching a lot of my videos. I don't know. Um, you know, it could be both. Who knows? Anyways, good job. So, yes, these lines are not parallel, but uh, there's all kinds of things we can do um, with this type of problem. So I can, I can come up with another question. I'm like, hey, uh, given this line, give me a line that isn't uh, parallel that goes through this point, 9, 12, right? That's another type of problem I could create. Or I could tell you, um, hey, given this line, give me another line that is perpendicular to that line. So now we got to talk about what perpendicular means. That's a whole nother video, and I'm pretty sure I, I have done it like a thousand plus videos on my YouTube channel. If you just scour through my algebra and pre-algebra playlist, you'll find a ton of videos on linear equations. But you need to know this stuff if you expect to be, uh, you know, extremely successful getting these kind of grades in algebra or anything beyond algebra, college algebra, algebra two. This is certainly basic algebra skills. Okay, this is not like some advanced stuff. You definitely need to know this. Okay. So hopefully this little video was a good little review for you. And if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. Um, and again, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, I'm posting stuff like all the time, basic to advanced math. Um, so, you know, whether you're taking pre-algebra or pre-calculus or beyond, you know, I try to, you know, help all of you. Okay, geometry, algebra. Uh, so I have a ton of content there. Um, but my best math help will be within my uh, math help program. The bottom line is whether, you know, if you like my teaching style, I try to make math clear and understandable. Whether it's me or someone else, get the help you need. Go on the offense, all right? Just don't, um, you know, struggle in math, right? Nobody should be struggling in math. There's just too much available help out there. But if you like what, um, you know, the way I teach, well, then that's excellent. Please, you know, I make these videos so you can learn from them. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.